Hi friends, welcome to this gentle yoga flow, open up and soften. This is a relaxing, rather slow flow for when you feel stressed or stiff. We will be focusing on opening the hips and the shoulders and we will move at a very conscious pace. Make sure you have one prop handy. This could be a yoga block, but it can also be a folded blanket or a cushion. Uh, we will need this at the very end of the class. If you do not have it, it's not a problem at all. But if you can grab it, do so now and then let's get started. We begin our class today uh, in a child's pose, rather towards the end of the mat. And you can bring the knees together apart, whatever feels best for you. So you can rest the upper body forward comfortably. And maybe you can bring the forehead onto the ground or onto your prop, or if that feels too intense, then just cross your arms and rest the forehead on your arms. Take a moment to arrange yourself and to arrive in this calming child's pose. Allowing the body and the mind to relax. And to fully arrive in this present moment on your yoga mat. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And gently side out the mouth with a feeling of release, of letting go. Again, deep breath in through the nose. Exiting through the mouth, releasing even a bit more tension. Good. One more breath in through the nose. Side out and imagine how all the stress leaves your body. You're simply arriving in the here and now. And then slowly bring your palms onto the ground, lift up into a tabletop position, take your time to arrange yourself, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And you can tuck the toes if that feels nice to stretch the feet and start to move in a very intuitive, gentle way. You could move in a circling manner, you could send the hips back or forward, whatever feels good. And whatever helps you to arrive in the body. You can even close the eyes, withdrawing from the screen for a moment, using these conscious, very gentle movements to soothe yourself, to allow the body to open up gently. And while you move, you could turn the fingertips towards the knees. You can do this both hands at a time. And if that feels a lot for your wrist, then do one hand at a time. Just allowing the wrists and the palms to stretch the fingers while still moving through the hip joints, the spine and the shoulders. Make sure you do both hands. Really enjoying these calm moments of arrival. And then come back with both palms down. And with the toes tucked, send the hips back all the way for one more child's pose. But this time, come onto the fingertips. Crawl the hands a bit further forward as you send the hips back. And take some deeper breaths to open the armpits, the shoulders. One more breath here. And then place the palms back down, keep the arms nice and long as you come back onto the knees and then bring the hips up into a downward facing dog. On the first downward facing dog, you can take it very easy, bend the knees, pedal the legs, send the heels one after the other towards the ground, stretching the soles of the feet, the back of the legs, calves, hamstrings. And you can use the moment to gently release any tension from the neck. There's no rigidity or no hasty movements. Just softly relax the neck and soften the face. Maybe make some faces, move the jaw. Could stick out the tongue for a lion's breath. Whatever feels good and releasing to you. And then bend the knees a bit more. Send the hips up towards the ceiling. Draw the belly in. Find a lot of length in the spine and the back of your legs. Take one more deep breath in and sigh it out. And then as you inhale, come forward into a high plank, shoulders over wrists. And as you exhale, bring the knees down and slowly lower all the way onto your belly. Point the toes, inhale, roll the shoulders back. 
and exhale, bring the forehead down to the ground. Press the tops of the feet down, inhale, small cobra, activate the back. And exhale, release the upper body down. One more, inhale, cobra. And exhale, release. Tuck your toes under, press them to the knees as you inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Bring your toes to touch. And then guide your right leg up into the air as you inhale. And as you exhale, bend the leg. The knee points up to the ceiling. The heel falls towards your bum and you feel your groin opening. If the left leg feels tight, just bend it a bit more. And then start drawing big circles into the air with that right knee. And try and allow for very generous movement. No hasty movements. Take your time. Circle the other way around as well. And then close the hip, pull the knee forward, bring the shoulders along. We want to make a big step onto the outside of the right hand. You can always come into the fingertips, walk the foot forward, and then let the hips become a bit more heavy. Lift the chest, lift the gaze, broaden the collarbones for a high lizard pose here. You could stay on the fingertips and maybe you want to find some circling movements as well. So you circle the knee around the ankle and you find a bit more movement in the hip joint. And then slowly stop, bring the left knee down. You could always cushion it with your prop if the ground feels hard on the knee. And then lift the heart a bit higher. Feel the left groin opening. Take two full breaths here. Breathing through the nose. Calming, smooth breath. And then bring the left hand down underneath the shoulder. Bring your right hand onto the inner right thigh. Spiral the chest open slightly. Find a bit of a back bend. And if that feels okay for your ankle, you could drop onto the lateral edge of your foot. Let the knee drop out to the side a bit to open the hip. And find some space in the body here. Soften the face. Take a full breath here. Good. And then slowly come back to the center, knee pointing forward, right hand onto the inside of the right foot, release the back knee, and then step into a plank pose. Let's take an inhale here. And on the exhale with the knees, you could also do with that, slowly lower onto the belly. Point the toes, roll the shoulders back, cobra. And exhale, release down. Tuck the toes, inhale, come onto the knees. Exhale, push the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Enjoy all these movements, also the ones that we use for tra transitioning from one pose to the other. We lift the left leg up, bend the leg, knee points up. Take another breath here into this opening. And then start circling the knee, very generous, big movements, no need to rush. And then circle the other way around as well. And then close the hip, pull the knee forward, very big step onto the outside of your left hand. And once again, if you didn't quite arrive, just walk the foot forward, come onto the fingertips, let the hips become a bit more heavy and maybe move a bit backwards and forwards. You can feel the hip opening. You can also circle around and you will notice some stimulation in the left hip joint, some opening in the right groin. And then drop the right knee, maybe cushion it, lift the heart a bit higher, broaden the collarbones, soften the gaze. You can always find that one focus point. We call that drishti in yoga. And it's said that if your gaze is calm, your mind calms down, and otherwise you can also close the eyes. Drop into your inner space. Breathe through all the experiences, all the sensations in these poses. And then ground the right hand down, bring the left hand onto the left inner thigh and then bring that left shoulder back. And there's no need to push the leg out, just softly open and maybe come onto the outer edge of your foot if that feels okay for your ankle, for your knee and the hip. And then open up the chest, breathe.
One more breath here. And then bring the left hand back down. Release the back knee, look down in between the hands. Step back into your plank pose. Take an inhale here, bit of strengthening in between. And then on your exhale, lower with or without the knees, whatever feels right today, all the way onto your belly. We come into cobra pose, press the tops of the feet down. And this time, as you exhale, release the hands, interlace the fingers behind the back, and then pull the hands away from the body for Shalabhasana. Make sure your neck is relaxed. Thighs are active, breath is still flowing. Breathe into the chest. Two full breaths. And last one, no rushing. And on your exhale, release, hands down, forehead down, tuck the toes, in it, come into the knees. And exhale, push the hips back and up, downward facing dog. Bring your right leg up, three-legged dog. Bend the leg as you exhale. Take another inhale here. Exhale, close the hip this time. Right knee to the right wrist. We'll bring the low leg down onto the mat, kind of diagonally for a half pigeon pose. Push the hips back. Might want to cushion the right bum with your prop. And then place the back foot down, pointing the toes. Lift the heart for a moment. Make sure your hips are pointing forward and then slowly walk your way forward. You could come onto the forearms. You can also stay on the hands if that's plenty for you today. You could, like you did in the child's pose, maybe support the forehead or extend the arms all the way out. I will stay on my forearms today also because of my microphone. So you just find the position that feels good. Soften the gaze or close the eyes and come down into your breath. And the hip joints often store a lot of tension, so if it feels a bit intense or if any thoughts are coming up, just breathe through it very softly, no resistance, softening into this pose, into this moment. Good, maybe your last breath, side out through the mouth. Walk the hands slowly towards the upper body. And then from here, we will lean over to the right side. If you have a prop underneath there, then take it out. Lean over to the right side so you can bring the left leg all the way around. Step the left foot onto the outside of your right knee. And if you feel like your left bum is coming off the ground, extend the right leg out in front of you. We arrive in our twisted seat. Pick either option, wrap the right arm around the leg, reach the left arm up as you twist to the left side, belly button towards thigh, place the left hand behind you very gently, think length of the spine as you inhale, opening up space as you exhale. Nourishing inhale, soft exhale. Two more, inhaling. And exhaling, staying connected to the rhythm of your breath. On your inhale, come back to the center. On the exhale, take a very gentle counter twist to the opposite side. And then bring the fingertips behind you so you can unravel the legs. Cross your left chin in front of the right one. You can roll over the feet and then step back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment to release any tension from the hip joints, the legs. And then lift the left leg up as you inhale. Bend the leg as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, close the hip, pull the knee forward for your half pigeon pose. Bring the low leg down to the ground. Left knee towards the left wrist. You can bring the foot a bit more forward if you're very flexible, but make sure your, knee, your hips are aligned, your back leg is towards the center of the mat, toes are pointed. Arrange yourself, and as you feel ready, you lower your way down, maybe onto the forearms, onto your props, all the way onto the ground, whatever feels right for you today. And keep breathing.
and especially in these slower paced practices and poses our mind tends to run faster so if you notice yourself drifting off in thought just bring yourself back into this moment come back into the breath back into the body Take one more breath in through the nose. Side out through the mouth. And then slowly walk the hands back towards the upper body. Remove your prop if you have one. Lean over to the left side. Bring the right leg around for your twisted seat. <clears throat> right foot outside of the left knee. Left leg can stay folded or maybe you want to extend it out if that helps you to sit taller. Left arm wraps around the right knee. The right arm goes up to the sky. And then we twist open to the right side. Fingertips come down very gently. Make as long breath keeps flowing. Soften the gaze or close your eyes. Think length of the spine as you inhale. Open up as you exhale. Couple of breaths. Good. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, take that gentle counter twist to the opposite side. And then bring the hands behind you, lean into the fingertips as you uncross the legs, right chin in front of the left one. We'll step back or rather roll over the feet and bring the knees back underneath the hips for our tabletop position. Take a cat stretch, press away from the ground, relaxing the spine. Inhale gently, open up the chest. Let's do two more of these. Exhale, rounding the back, really opening up the back side of the body. Inhale, opening the front side of the body. One more. Exhale. Inhale. And then come into a neutral spine. Your hips stay where they are and you only start walking the hands forward for Anahata Asana, which is often called puppy pose because it looks like a small downward facing dog. Maybe your chin or your forehead reaches the ground. Maybe you place it on a prop or maybe you let it hover. Just allow the chest to sink down, the shoulders to open, the chest to open, the armpits. And keep breathing smoothly, giving into gravity. Inviting in space as you inhale. Allowing for softness as you exhale. There's two more breaths. And then pull the hips back, pull the hands back so much that you feel like you have enough grip to slide your way forward onto the belly. And then slide the elbows forward. You could scoot down a little bit if you came off the mat. Elbows under shoulders. Forearms are parallel to each other for Sphinx pose. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Bring the, the pubic bone into the mat. This gives more length to the low back. And then reach the heart forward. Broaden the collarbones. Open the chest. Neck stays nice and long. Keep breathing. Always draw yourself back into this moment. And just experience the poses and their effects without any evaluation or judgment. Yeah, two more breaths. And to release, bring the hands on top of each other, mm -hmm. move the elbows out to the sides, bring the forehead down or maybe one cheek and wiggle your hips a bit from side to side, releasing any tension from the low back. And then extend one arm forward and roll onto your back. 
You might need to shuffle along so you're back on the mat. And then keep your feet stood up close to the body, hip distance apart. Press them into the mat and you can also press your elbows into the mat for a bit more of support as you lift up the hips for your shoulder bridge. Once you're up with the hips and the spine, interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades together, lift the pubic bone up to the navel to open up the groins, open up the chest. Keep the neck nice and long. Take some nourishing breaths here. Take about three breaths. Make sure your knees do not fall apart, but imagine holding something in between your thighs. And then come onto the tiptoes. Take your time, release the hands, maybe press the elbows into the ground for support as you roll your way back down. Once you have arrived, take your feet further apart and drop the knees towards each other, resting against each other in the middle. And then rest your palms on your upper body. Feel the movement of your breath. Maybe you can feel the heartbeat. Feel yourself calming down. And then slowly walk the feet back towards each other and then move your hips over to the right ever so slightly bring the right knee above the left one wrap the legs and your arms could be extended or bend whatever allows your shoulders to relax and then drop both knees to the left side very gentle twist here next stays relaxed you could look in the opposite direction to the right if that feels good for your neck just allow gravity to take your knees to any angle that feels good the abdomen being massaged, right side of the body being gently opened, abdomen softens, face softens. Good, and then bring the knees back to the center unwrap them move the hips over to the left side just about a couple of centimeters wrap the left leg around the right one drop the knees to the side shoulders stay relaxed and you just drop back down into the breath into the body you can very gently emphasize your exhales without any force or pressure, simply taking more time to exhale the same amount of air. What a feeling of relaxing, of softening. And then slowly bring the knees back to center. Step the feet next to each other. Move the hips back to center. And then grab your prop. This could be your blanket, your block, your cushion, whatever you have. Press into the feet. Lift the hips just a little bit so you can place that prop underneath the pelvis in a way that feels very comfortable to rest the pelvis onto your prop. And then once you have found that position, then bring the legs up towards the sky. You do not want this prop to be in your spine, but really resting underneath your pelvis. If lifting your legs up is quite tense for you, then just bend the knees a bit more. Try and tilt the pelvis towards the body so it makes it a bit easier. And then either look to your toes or close the eyes. It's a very soft inverted posture that really allows your nervous system to calm down also takes out of pressure out of the low parts of the body, increasing your circulation, her lymphatic flow. So once again, allow for some smooth, long exhales. Not letting yourself be rushed by the mind, allowing yourself these restorative practices, knowing that in this moment your body can regenerate and your mind can relax. So 
two more breaths. And then go ahead and bend the knees, stand the feet up, lift your pelvis gently, take out your prop to the side, ground the low back carefully, and once again, drop the knees towards each other. From here, bring one knee after the other up to your chest, interlace your fingers around the shins, rock a bit from side to side. And if it's comfortable for you, you could start rocking along the spine, forward and backward. If this doesn't feel good for your spine, then you can just come over one side. If it feels good, take a bit of momentum, massage the whole length of the spine, and then bring yourself up into an upright seat, crossing the legs, lengthening the spine. We'll take a final breathing exercise together. So make sure you have a comfortable seat. You can also sit on your prop. And then bring your right hand in front of your face. We'll curl the index finger and the middle finger down into the palm. And we'll hover the thumb and the ring finger over our nostrils. For the alternate nostril breathing, Anulom Bilom will alternately close the nostrils. We'll do this together. So go ahead, take an inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils. Close the right side with the thumb gently. Inhale on the left. Close the left, exhale on the right. Same side, inhale right. Close and exhale left. This is one round. Inhale left. Maybe close the eyes, exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left, and then release, inhale through both nostrils. Exit through both nostrils. Return to your natural breathing. Just take a moment to sit in the space that you have created for yourself with calmness, openness, and softness. And join your palms together in front of the heart center as a gesture of appreciation. When you are ready, open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this short and very gentle flow. I hope you feel a bit more free in the body, a bit more relaxed in the mind. Let me know what you thought and let me know what you want to practice next. And then I will see you in the next video. Have a lovely day.